This is Michael Smith of MedPage Today. I'm in Boston at the annual meeting of the Infectious Diseases Society of America, where a researcher is reporting a novel and apparently successful approach to reducing the risk of hospital-acquired infection. I asked Dr. Cassandra Salgado of the Medical University of South Carolina to explain what she and colleagues did. Well, we took uh, six common objects in patient ICD rooms and we cladded them with copper surfaces and we moved them in to patient care environments in the ICD rooms at three different hospitals, Medical University of South Carolina, Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center and the VA Medical Center in Charleston. And we randomly admitted patients to these ICU rooms as well as randomly admitted patients into control ICU rooms with no copper surfaces. And we prospectively followed those patients to see what their risk of acquiring a healthcare acquired infection was. The findings were gratifying, Salgado said, a marked reduction in the risk for patients in the copper rooms. We found that overall the infection rate uh, in patients who were admitted to rooms with copper surfaces was significantly less than patients who were admitted to rooms without copper surfaces and in fact we found more than a 40 percent uh, decrease in healthcare acquired infections among those patients. But Salgado cautioned more research is needed before the approach becomes common practice. And we're very encouraged by our results and we're encouraged for many reasons, such that we don't have to rely on compliance with other infection control measures among healthcare workers in order for these copper surfaces to work. We just have to clean them regularly like we would any environmental surfaces. However, we still feel that these surfaces need to be studied in other patient populations as well as in areas outside the intensive care unit. Um, additionally, it's not clear as to how many copper objects are needed in a ICU room uh, to significantly lower the healthcare acquired infection rate even more. In Boston, I'm Michael Smith, MedPage Today.